we are one step closer to traveling on land at speeds of 750 miles per hour. That's over 100 miles per hour faster than the average Boeing 747. Hyperloop One, the company designing this futuristic transport system, successfully tested a full-size passenger pod over the weekend. Our own Hillary Vaughn is in Los Angeles with all the details. Very cool, Hillary. Yeah, it is really cool, Cheryl. Their CEO, Rob Lloyd, told me that this particular test was such a big deal because it proves the technology works. He says the next step is commercialization, and they think they'll have a shovel-ready plan approved in just a few months. This Hyperloop technology was created here in the U.S. It was also manufactured here, and now Hyperloop One is deciding where to build it. I'm not a betting man, but I actually can tell you that the odds are uh, that something will emerge in the United States that really is the first Hyperloop that will be built. Lloyd says that he is in deep discussions with states including Colorado, Texas, Florida, and Ohio, but he says they have to make a good case before Hyperloop decides to build in their state. Lloyd says they're keeping an eye on regulations as the Department of Transportation works out how to make sure this new tech is passenger ready. We proved we can build this tech in record time. Now we want to collaborate, we want new rules, we want to move advanced technologies and transportation as quickly as we have in the digital era, and we need to bring that to transportation. Hyperloop One says the first operational pods will likely carry cargo, not passengers. This plan to replace freight carrying semis with super fast pods would not only clear up traffic and cut down on emissions, but it would make it cheaper to transport goods. I also asked Lloyd what he thinks about Elon Musk's plan to build an underground Hyperloop. He tells me that it's actually four times cheaper to build the Hyperloop above ground, but in big cities, tunnels may be easier. Cheryl. Okay, Hillary, one question. Would, would you get in? <laughs> would you do it? I, you know, I was thinking about that. I'm a little weary of self-driving cars, but I don't know. I would probably get in a pod. It's self-contained. You don't have to worry about other pods bumping into you. I probably would. Okay, Hillary, you're younger and you have less fear than I do. So, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Vaughn out in Los Angeles. Hillary, great story. Thank you.